Hey guys, Joey here with Joe's RV Tech DIY. Today we're going to change out an anode rod on a 12 gallon Suburban water heater. Um, Suburban is owned by Air XL. Um, we have a new anode rod right here. That's just one that's still packaged. Here's the one I'm going to go ahead and replace it with. So as you can see, I've already wrapped the thread. Um, you're going to need a half inch ratchet extension and an inch and a sixteenth socket for this particular anode rod. Now it's going to be rather tight for the purpose of the video. I've already broke it a little bit loose. And when it comes out, hold a second here. It's going to flush a bunch of bad stuff out. We're going to relieve a little bit of the pressure here. This one's pretty bad. As you can see, that's all that's left of this anode rod. Not much at all. You can see all the stuff coming out. I mean, it's, it's gone. So we're gonna go ahead and replace it with this anode rod, brand new. Okay. So once it's done flushing all the water out here, we'll go ahead and put the new anode rod in. This is something that you guys can have an RV technician do in your local area, or you can uh, do it yourself if you're the DIY type. Again, you'll just need a ratchet extension and an inch and a sixteenth socket. We're gonna go ahead and let it finish draining here. 12 gallons is a lot of water so if you guys are in the market for an anode rod too I'll post a link below if you guys would like to support our channel uh, we actually sell these anode rods and can ship it straight to your door and um, we appreciate all the support we can get so let's just keep it going here so when your anode rod hasn't been replaced and it looks like this one here let me just give you guys a good comparison. So, there's the old one. That's what it's supposed to look like. So, it'll start attacking the water heater itself instead of the anode rod. So, I'll put more information in the description to why it does that. Quite a bit of junk still in the red hole there. Sorry, I'm a one-man show today and recording by myself. We are at Van Mall RV Park in Vancouver, Washington currently. If you guys are going to be in the Vancouver, Washington area and you need mobile RV repair, um, I'll post a link to the website with our phone number below as well. And we can get you guys taken care of. Now, some steps you're going to want to take before removing the anode rod is make sure the water is cold turn the water heater off turn the gas off turn the, the water off at the faucet or your water pump if you're using your freshwater tank because you don't want to get burned by the hot water because it can be scalding hot so now i'm going to go ahead and insert our nice new shiny anode rod get it started and then we're gonna grab our ratchet. Okay, it's nice and snug. All right guys, and that's how you change an anode rod on a suburban 12 gallon water heater. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and we'd love to answer them. And if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe and safe travels.